So you have your website all coded up in Swift using the publish framework. It's looking real fine, real sexy, and now it's time to share it with the world. I'm going to show you how to deploy your website. Thanks for checking out your boy Kilo Loco. Make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get into it. First, we need to deploy our published project up to GitHub. Then we need to make sure that we have our domain name registered so that we actually look like we're professionals and the world thinks that we know what we're doing. Then we're going to deploy our website to AWS Amplify Console to let the world bask in our Swifty website glory. Heading over to GitHub, I'm going to start off by creating a brand new repo for my project. I'd recommend that you set your repo to private so that nobody else can take your website's information and display it on some other hosted domain, but it's totally up to you what you want to do. Now that my repo's all set up, let's head back over to our publish project, and then we can pass in the deployed using argument with GitHub and our repo's name. So we're letting publish know where we want to deploy to, but what we actually need to do is we need to let Xcode know that it's time to deploy. So let's go up to edit schema and open up our current schema. Instead of passing the deploy argument here, I'm actually going to duplicate the schema. What this allows me to do is have two schemas, one that's going to be for local host where I can see how my website is during development, and the second one specifically meant to deploy my website up to GitHub. With my deploy schema selected, all we need to do now is hit run and Xcode should be uploading our project to our GitHub repo. As we can see, everything that would normally be in the output of our published project is now up on our GitHub repo. Now it's time for us to make sure that we look professional by registering a domain. I'm gonna head over to AWS Route 53 and I'm going to go to the register domains and register my domain. Once my domain is all purchased and everything looks like it's all set and ready to go, now I can head over to AWS Amplify Console. I'm gonna get started with deploy on Amplify Console. At this point, you're going to need to connect GitHub to your AWS account. So make sure you go through that authorization phase. Now that GitHub is connected, I can go ahead and select the same project that we created for our published website. If you haven't made any changes to the GitHub repo, then master will most likely be your default branch. So make sure that's selected and then we can hit next. Now we can go ahead and update our app name if we want, or if you have any build and test settings that you wanna set up, then you can go ahead and configure that here, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. Just go ahead and double check and make sure that everything looks correct and hit save and deploy if it does. We're gonna give Amplify Console a couple minutes so that it could do its thing. And then once it's done, we'll actually be able to see our site is live. So Amplify Console says that it's done. It did its work and now our site is live. And if we take a look on the left-hand side, you can actually see a preview of what our site looks like along with a link to the live website. So our site is live and that's great. We can see that everything is working as expected, but look at that URL. I'm not sharing that with anybody. Look at that, that's just ridiculous. So what we actually need to do is we need to make sure that this site is tied to the domain that we purchased earlier. So let's go back over to Amplify Console and we're gonna actually go into the domain management area now. I'll go to add domain, then select the search area and a dropdown should show me my domain. If it doesn't, I can start typing and it'll show up. I'm gonna select my domain and then go to configure domain. So it's gonna give me a couple of options to configure subdomains and redirects. I'm gonna leave everything at standard for right now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save. So Amplify Console is gonna kick off the whole domain activation process, and we're gonna go get a snack and then come back because it's gonna take a little while before uh, it's gonna be done. So after many moons, Amplify Console will show that it is done and we'll actually be able to go to our domain name, type it in, and we'll actually see our published website. <laughs> All right, cool, but how do we update our website? Let's head back over to our published project and let's make a quick change. If we were to run and deploy our website right now, we actually wouldn't see any changes on GitHub. And the reason for that is because the output would be the same as it was before. 
So in order for us to change the output, we're going to change back to our original schema, which is not specifying the deploy argument. We're going to double check that everything is updated on localhost. Then we're going to switch back to the deploy schema, and then we can actually send that up to GitHub. So now we can head over to GitHub. We can see that our changes have been committed. And then if we actually go back to Amplify Console, we can actually see that a new build has kicked off and our website is already in the process of being updated to the latest code, which is really cool. And obviously we don't want our website to be down at this time. So let's go ahead and double check our domain and make sure that it's still serving up the original content. And as you can see here, it still is showing the previous content before we made any of those changes. So essentially our website is left untouched until the code has finished building and everything goes through smoothly. So now while we wait, I have to go get me some Oreos, get me my milk. And by the time I come back, everything should be ready to go and my website should be updated. And boom, there it is. We have our Swift code all up and running on a website. We didn't have to write that nasty HTML code. Publish helped us out with that. And then we were able to deploy it to GitHub, have our code there. Then we used AWS Amplify to actually host the website. So it's a pretty good situation. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any other recommendations for tutorials, feel free to reach out to me. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd be more than happy to help out. Make sure you also hit that subscribe button and like the video. Now go out there, amplify your project, and keep coding passionately.